Welcome everyone to another episode of Price Targets with your host Bitcoin Jack. It's um, an hour later than my usual time to uh, record these videos. It's been snowing and in the eastern part of the country we had like 40 centimeters of snow which is very rare for the Netherlands. Um, so I have just been you know having a lot of fun going outside and the next week is just going to be a lot of ice skating. So I'm, I'm really... <laughs> I'm really excited for that. I love, I love that kind of shit. Um, maybe it's because I'm Dutch, or maybe it's just the fact that we have this lockdown and that the amount of things I can do is very limited right now. So this is just another new impulse into my life, which is very, very welcome. I'm gonna be grabbing the past chart for Bitcoin in a little bit, showing you what I want, what levels I want to be held. Or like high time frame continuation, we're going to be talking about what the targets would be um, if we have continuation, or where I'd be taking some profits and um, looking for dips to buy, etc. We're going to be looking at what I think is, you know, the smart move with ETH. But first, I want to have your attention for Equals. They're sponsoring this content and are very really cool new regulatory exchange. So make sure you check them out. They have futures, spot on ramps off ramps um there's a link in the description so thank you econs for being so kind bitcoin we've kind of been running holy sh shabam okay well we're not going to be using that chart anymore um i need to clean it up um we had resistance if you remember the red line from the last video if you watched that um around here and price has broken it and it's now coming down back to retest it. Um, I've adjusted the level because now we've formed this structure here. And I think this structure is our key structure um, to confirm that we're done ranging. Pretty much all the levels in the range have been, you know, tested. Everything has kind of done its consolidation part, I think think that what we're seeing here is uh, the first impulse move of the next bigger rally and for that to be like slightly more confirmed I don't want to see price back inside the range here again so if we consider this to be the range I want to you know I, I want to I want price to, to start voting <laughs> out of that range if we go back inside this range i'm just going to be so frustrated because this entire i don't know 30 day consolidation has given me a lot of sleepless nights 35 days so that's a lot of consolidation um it's been giving me a lot of sleepless nights a lot of like turning around getting into positions riding it getting frustrated because you know you want to take some profit but not too much because you're anticipating a breakout eventually um so a lot of emotions going on in these kind of ranges so this is the key level to hold is like 37.7 ish um obviously in my opinion it can still go as low as 36k but that's kind of like where i want to see a strong reaction um and back above 37.7 if that doesn't really happen I'm going to be cautious um, and definitely have my stops in place because if we get back inside here, we either go back to the middle of the range, which is like at 34K. And um, if that doesn't hold, I'm pretty sure that we're just going to be raiding the range low again, which has been tested quite a few times. So it's just going to get very ugly in that case. Um, I'm going to stick with my bullish narrative. And I've been, you know, like if you've been, watching the previous videos we've been adding um to our position along the way so i'm really biased to upside but it's also been my thesis so i i, I think that's i think that's fine um if we do see continuation it's going to be it's going to be quite large in my opinion um we simply grab the daily time frame and just look at the, this entire move, which was then followed by 
this consolidation, you can just see that a continuation of that is just going to be brutal. And then the fact that we had like pretty much record volumes um, trade it is just something, you know, to, I don't know, it's just going to be insane. Um, so yeah, like where does this go if we, if we do confirm uh, a breakout? Um, I think the easiest way just to have a preliminary target is my mouse is kind of a little bit fucked it seems um the easiest way would probably be just to grab the fib level um 0.5 put it somewhere around the middle of the range there and just assume that just this is just going to form uh, a new range up here so that brings us at 61k um there's another level that I'm going to be finding very interesting to see what's going to happen, which is at 40, uh, 54K. 54K is a trillion dollar market cap. So obviously there's going to be some kind of like reaction to it and maybe it's just going to boat through it. But 54, 55K is, is it going to be a level of interest? Um, and I think that if we break out here, things are just going to move very fast. And I'm, I'm not really sure like, whether 60k is going to be the end of the cycle i don't think so like i've seen these kind of structures in prior bull runs um the bigger longer corrections and um i think we're kind of forming like our final um platform to 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 jump so there's a lot of room to the upside after that but just let's start with with the 61k i think that's um that's mostly fair game ETH BDC I think if Bitcoin is really gonna be showing some brutal upside um, there might be downside on ETH BDC so ETH BDC might underperform um, it's the reason why I've I've sold my ETH for now and just wait and see what's gonna happen like if we are if we're honest with ourselves uh, it ETH BDC just looks very very great on a high time frame, right? So there's just this inverse head and shoulders. Uh, obviously, that's uh, one with a very hot target, high target. And then we look here, this empty space, pretty much, um, usually wants to get filled, especially if you have the bullish setup. So I, th I still think that price is going to go to 0.053 something or 0.06 i just don't know if it's going to get there in a straight line so what's possible is that eth is just going to go sideways before continuing and um um i'm not too sure about it. like bitcoin was moving up you saw eth start to bleed a little bit it's it's complicated in that sense to to know what's going to happen ETH, eth futures are launching on cme tomorrow i think it's going to be non-event like i think that price is just going to do whatever it's going to do whether or not these futures launch um there's going to be some movements uh, people are gonna try and explain it's because of cme i don't think any of that is going to be the case so if we look at the daily um I think this is eventually going to be some kind of continuation pattern. I just don't know whether that continuation is just going to happen from here. Like, honestly, if I look at this, it's not as bearish as some some people on Twitter try to make you believe. So this is like A, B, and then some kind of C structure. I think this is, I mean, the most ideal situation would be that ETH BDC rallies with the Bitcoin. Um, it's it's the most healthy sign of the market that both run um, Bitcoin runs and ETH runs harder. That's just the dream. Um, I think it's good for Bitcoin. I think it's good for ETH. I think it's good for the entire space. So, um, I honestly think it's not a bad place to start buying some ETH. Like the entire breakdown structure here, uh, the fake out retest of it maybe it's just going to get come a little bit further down um sweep these lows but that's kind of a a level where you know um 
I'm I'm going to be willing to to get back into ETH, and hopefully, uh, it's going to outperform. Uh, and we're still targeting the 0 0.05, 0 0.06 region first. So ETH, I think it doesn't look as bearish. A lot of people think it's it's very bearish. Um, you know, I'm just I'm I'm still thinking the trend is up, and it's not as as late as people think. Uh, obviously, this was really ugly in my opinion, um, and a clean clean level to 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 sell your ETH, which I did. Uh, I posted that on Twitter, but you know, like rating these lows, these levels, and getting back into a position if we see strength is probably a good idea because the trend is up. Like if you look at the daily, um, if you look at the weekly. It would be really, really ugly if we come, you know, if this doesn't continue up. And it wouldn't also, it would also be a bad thing for Bitcoin, I think. Like if ETH really starts dropping, um, I just think it's just a general sign that there's money flowing out of the market, which is just not good for anything at all. Um, so yeah, ETH. I'm not as bearish on it as people um, as people are. I think this is just some kind of ABC correction, and that we're just going to see continuation um, based on this kind of move here. Uh, I think that so. Do do do. Let me just calculate something real quick. assume it's going to continue from around here yeah so i think right here which is the 0 0.05 0 0.06 region we talked about that's that's kind of our target so eth i think continuation is likely in the weeks ahead maybe it's just going to go sideways a little bit against btc um, the USD pair is obviously um, going to perform well. If Bitcoin is going to perform well, and I'm going to be waiting for Bitcoin to really confirm um, its bullishness. So, if Bitcoin can confirm its bullishness, I'm probably going to get back into my longs on ETH. I'm still in my longs on on Bitcoin, and um, hopefully, some of the DeFi shit is going to sell off, so we can kind of scale in that into that uh, for later in the cycle when they're when they're when they're going to have like a second pump. But for now, I want to see Bitcoin break out. I want to see Bitcoin hold the daily order block right here. And if that's all possible, um, I think it's just going to be a very, very bullish week for, for Bitcoin. And just, we're, we're going to see like 50, 60K within one to two weeks. I'm going to catch you on Wednesday. I'm going to be outside a lot, probably less active on Twitter. And um, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below and um, I'll try to go through them. All right. Cheers.